one. That always works. <laughs> Isn't this exciting? The first PHP conference in Singapore. How cool is that? Big hand to the come on, big hand to the organizers because it takes it takes a lot to put on these conferences, and like we're really proud to support it, and we hope that it, hope that it continues for future years. Who wants another one next year? No, they've just finished. They haven't finished this one yet. We'll we'll get to that. <laughs> So hello everyone, I am uh, Stephen Cooper, also known as Developer Steve on the internet. I am from uh, a company called PayPal, which I'm sure you're, you're familiar with in some, in some regards. And also a company called Braintree, which we'll get to in a minute. I'm developer advocate for, for both companies. Um, so I get to travel around uh, hanging out with amazing developers like yourselves, um, which is really cool because I get to meet some, am I do get to meet some amazing devs. And it's awesome to be here in Singapore. This is one of my favorite countries to come visit. I do love Singapore. I haven't been here for a couple of months, but flew in last night and I was like, yeah, I like Singapore. And it's good that you put on the cooler weather for us. It dropped two degrees since my last visit. It's amazing. <laughs> so yeah, I am developer advocate. I get to travel around a bit. I've done a quarter of a million kilometers in 12 months and covered some 90 odd events throughout the region. Um, so I do frequent airports quite a bit. Um, I do do bag selfies, that's a thing. Um, and I love Singapore that much. I actually carry in my 30 kilos of luggage, I actually carry uh, a Kopi with me wherever I go because I, I love Kopi, it's really good stuff. So I'm from PayPal, we have some really amazing APIs. We've been doing payments a long time. We know payments really, really well. One of my favorite APIs, Adaptive Payments, lets you do something called chain payments. So you're basically the conduit between buyer and seller, amazing APIs. And Braintree, which launched, it was exciting to launch that this year in Singapore for the first time. So it's, Braintree is used by companies like uh, Airbnb, Uber, GitHub, just to drop a few names, um, and allows frictionless payments, which is really, really cool. Uh, 12 lines of code, which we'll look at soon. I've got a demo, which demo gods permitting will actually work, hopefully. Um, but yeah, 12 lines of code, PayPal, uh, credit card, and when it launches here, Apple Pay, Android Pay, and Bitcoin. And whenever a new integration comes in, it works in the same build, so really, really cool. We will get to that, though. So I, this talk today is something I sort of dreamed up um, earlier on in the year, and I thought, wouldn't it be cool to do a fairy tale using our APIs and SDKs? Because they're really easy to use, so I thought, make it a bit fun, make it a bit interesting. Um, and to do that, I thought, why not use actors? So yes, actual actors. Well, kind of. So our table begins in the kingdom of binary. Ha ha. Just a warning, expect loads and loads of puns, all right? This presentation is absolutely full of them. So this is my actor, one of them. There's a few. I originally wrote this to, with the intention of using actors, and I actually had like real actors lined up and then thought, I have to write a stage play to go with this as well. And actors don't like traveling in suitcases very much, so this could get a bit tricky. I'll use digital actors instead. So I don't know if you can tell, I did my own pixel art. Uh -huh. So our, our actor, and I set background music, just for that added touch for each scene. So, <laughs> So this is Pixel Pete, and Pixel Pete's a bit of a wizard when it comes to code. Ha ha. Pixel Pete lives in the kingdom of Banari, and basically he, he integrates websites, he integrates payments, he builds all sorts of websites in, in his village. Slight pause. For effect, this is all part of the show. Oh, and we're back, we're good? Okay. So Pixel Pete lives in, the, lives in the village of Binary. He's a very, very well-known code wizard. One day he gets approached by one of the king's guards to go on a bit of a quest. He's been being summoned to go see the king because they're having a bit of a problem with their payment systems. So yeah, he needs to, go, needs to go help the king solve the kingdom's problems when it comes to payments. And he has to go see the king without the puns, which there's not much sense of that happening. So he sets out to go see the king. He lives quite a fair way away, so he has to travel a little while. So he heads off down the M1, 
and hits a bit of a bit of a bit of a traffic jam. There's there's roadworks on because you know there's always roadworks when you're trying to go somewhere. So he takes a detour, ends up on the M2. There's another traffic jam there because that always happens. So he ends up at a nice bed and breakfast at the coastal town for one evening, and then the next morning sets off to go see the king, and ends up in the kingdom. So Pete ends up in front of the king, ready to hear all about his payment quest. So the king basically has had a lot of problems with uh, the, AP, the PCI demon who has been plaguing the kingdom, trying to steal all sorts of sensitive PCI credit card information, which they've been storing on server, which you never, ever do. So Pete has to set out to, to try and find a new way to basically do payments, to, a safe way to be able to facilitate all the payments for the, for the kingdom through a, a PCI safe method to transact and stop the PCI demon from doing all these nasty things. And to do that, he needs to go to the domain of the APIs to see the keeper of APIs to find out how, how they can tokenize payments and keep things all nice and secure. So the king's going to take him to the library and show him how to enter the, the domain of the APIs using Braintree. So first step, you head to, they're going to head to sandbox.braintreepayments.com, grab some merchant credentials, the key, which you can then use to drop inside some PHP code, because PHP is awesome. So we call in the, the Braintree PHP SDK, Drop in our merchant credentials, like so. Generate a client token, which is really important. So this is then used inside some JavaScript to basically make a, a nice little, very secure, very uh, session-orientated payment box to do a really safe payment and keep the PCI daemon away, which looks something like this. So this will basically then generate inside any, any sort of form and be able to facilitate credit card, PayPal straight out of the box, and then later on when any, any other payment gateways get added, any um, digital wallets are added, all in the one integration. That's Braintree. So once the user fills out their credit card information, hits submit, a payment method nonce is attached to the form, which you then use as part of your post, and you do the transaction. Totes easy. So he now has what he needs to be able to enter the domain of the APIs. He now has the key. So going to set out on another road trip. Thankfully, this time, there's no traffic, so get there rather quickly. So he heads out to the domain of the APIs, which is located on a lovely little island just north of the island Wait, of the main continent. <laughs> so he uses the key to teleport over. It's rather magical. and ends up in the domain of the APIs. Oh, it's a magical place. So the keeper of the domain of the APIs and all things green approaches him to be able to show him how to tokenize a credit card, which takes the key to a whole other level. This is basically what Uber do, Uber in the magical kingdom, Uber do to uh, basically set up user accounts. Uber, you set up an account, you attach a payment method, you get a token back, and from that point on, you just use the token to do transactions. So you don't store any credit card or financial, sensitive financial information on your website. So he's basically going to help him stop the PCI demon and teach him about all things green. No, he's going to teach him how to tokenize credit card. So for that, we're going to try a live demo. Whoops, not supposed to see that one yet. Forget you saw that one. All right, let's make some code bigger. There we go. All right, so here's a demo I've got set up. That's his, oh no, there we go. There we go. All right, so this is basically some, a little bit of PHP that just steps through how you can basically tokenize a credit card. Create a, create a customer inside Braintree, tokenize a credit card, and from that point on, you can just use the token to do any transactions you need to for the user. Um, so I've got, there's three steps. First step, index file. I'm just creating a, a customer inside Braintree and attaching a payment method. 
And the second step, I attach the payment method, and the third step, just transaction. So, and then I've got a config file with my merchant ID, because I didn't want to copy paste a number of times. It makes it a little bit easier. And this, this and a whole bunch of other demos uh, are on my GitHub, github.com slash developer Steve. So let's hope the demo gods like that. So I'm going to refresh the page. So the first thing it's going to do is create a customer inside Braintree, which looks just like that. And then I'm going to generate a client token, uh, which is used to create this wonderful little payment box here. And inside that, I can use PayPal or credit card. The good thing with this box is, uh, if everyone's familiar with some of the classic uh, PayPal APIs that redirects you away, you log into the website, this one actually has a nice little pop-up that appears on the page. So user does not leave this page, user stays on the page. For this, I'm going to use credit card. So I've got my customer ID, which has just been created inside Braintree. Type in my credit card. No one copied down that number. Unlimited credit. Hit store payment in Vault. So this is basically going to store it against that customer ID inside Braintree and return a token. And it worked. The internet's happy. So I've got a, a Vault token back here, which I can then use as I need to with my merchant credentials. And these tokens are only specific to this merchant. I can use that token to do transactions for that customer whenever they use my service, whenever they buy a product. Basically, they don't need to re-enter those details from that point on. So I can do a transaction now. And it worked. So I have a transaction ID just there. That's it. It's really easy. And so powerful, you can stop a PCI daemon with it. There we go, back into the mystical chamber. So he now has what he needs to be able to stop the PCI daemon. He's now powered up too. So now he can go take on the PC, PCI daemon and bring back something green. No, he's just going to go take on the PCI daemon. And for that, this time, he's just going to teleport, because it's a little bit quicker. And after some magical words, he appears in the PCI daemon's chamber. Hear the music? It's really scary now. Ooh. Um, so he's basically ready to take on the PCI daemon. So the PCI daemon's been stealing all sorts of credit card information. So, and just for the record, you never store, PC, you never store credit card information on your server. You, unless you're like super, super PCI compliant, you, something you never store on the server, we, we can store it for you. In, you get back a wonderful little token, super secure. So now he's ready to take on the PCI daemon with tokenization. So the PCI daemon's basically going to try and steal all the credit cards, which is what he's been doing. But he can't do it with the, with the Braintree vault because it's all secure, it has lots of nice king guards around it, and we, we worry about all the compliance side of things, all the, the PCI side of things, keeping everything all nice and safe and secure. That is the magic. And the best part is you can't even scrape it through that little, that little drop in UI, because again, everything's that, that little drop in UI loads from, from our servers. So everything's kept all nice and safe. You can't lift off what the user enters into that little box. Like everything's kept all, all secure, all safe, which really upsets the likes of the PCI daemon. That got everyone's attention. <laughs> And you can zap them away. <laughs> Which kills off any demons and keeps every, all your users all nice and secure. Which also means the keeper of domain APIs and all things green gets his green gems. So back in the king's chamber, the king's obviously ecstatic that everything's been sorted out for him. News has already spread because the internet and Reddit have already spread the word that everything's kept all nice and safe. There we go. Late entrance. Actors. Um, so back in his village, he's all nice and safe. He, he's, he's back from his quest, and he's ready for his next one. Ha-ha. <laughs> no, just kidding. 
that's for next time. Um, so that's basically me. That was basically the magic of, of Braintree. That's, that's what we do so well. Um, so we, we have launched Braintree here this year. I don't know if anyone's used it yet. I hope they have. If they haven't, then yeah, more than happy to talk more and take any questions. And yes, this was all done in PowerPoint, just saying. <laughs> I always get asked, what did you use? Yes, it was PowerPoint. So, so yes, questions. Oh, I have one of these. Any question? Hello. Uh, so, uh, the credit card information is replaced by a token, right? Yeah, it's stored, it's stored by a token. Okay, so uh, what if the token is compromised? What if my server is compromised and a hacker stole the tokens and maybe he can read also the config PHP? Yeah, so we, um, you can reissue those tokens, so you can force a, a, like a full reissue so that they're all invalidated. Um, we monitor things on our side as well to be able to detect any sort of fraudulent behavior. We know the session IDs as well, so all that, when we, when we do the client token generation, we know that that's specific to that user using your merchant credentials. So it helps us be able to keep an eye on things to make sure it's all, all secured. But, but before we regenerate those token, the hackers could use the token first to do a transaction, right? No, if they regenerated, the users have to re-authenticate, re-save new information. Oh. So, but yeah, it's, it's a lot harder to do that with the tokenization side of things. Okay, and the second question, is the, 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 the form customizable in terms of looks? Thing? Yep, so the, that was using drop-in UI, which basically generates it all for you. There's another version called uh, hosted fields where you can customize everything, even the inner inputs that load inside. Um, so it basically loads all those inputs individually as opposed to the entire box. Uh, everything, even the inner shadows loaded from the frames from our server is fully customizable in the JavaScript. Like, and even the JavaScript callbacks are all loaded as well. Yeah, um, yeah, it's really cool. That's another talk with a whole bunch of other characters. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I want to ask if uh, are you supporting the subscri subscription payment? Uh, I need example. I want to track uh, my customer city dollar every month. So I should make a con every month, or you can support uh? I oh, know we, we actually support subscriptions as well using that same method. So you, you set up a, a vault and then a, you can attach a subscription with a plan and even add add-ons and free period, free trial periods and all that's available as well using the same method. Last question. Yay, one more. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah, how we can manage the reverse of payment? If I have to revert, I charge a credit card, and then somehow I have to reverse the money. Uh, so yeah, we do. It supports chargeback, chargebacks through the SDK as well. So there is a different yeah. SDK. So yeah, through the through the SDK and even through the the web interface, the dashboard, you can do you can do a chargeback through that as well. Okay. Right. Thank you, uh, Stephen. You have any thank other you. slide to show? Or? Yes, of course there is. These are two, the two best ones. So, eight big cats with lasers. This is what you do on planes for 14 hours. And that's me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>